Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about the HVAC drafting in detail. So, what is HVAC drafting? Drafting is nothing but engineering drawing. Okay. So, which is prepared using AutoCAD software. Now, previously we used to have our drawings manually using the drafter sheets and all. So, as the technology increases. So we need to save the time that's why we are using the AutoCAD software so as we deal with the HVAC service it is called as the HVAC drafting suppose if you are dealing with the civil side then it is called as the civil drafting likewise if you are dealing with the electrical side this drafting will be called as the electrical drafting so in detail we are going to see how the execution of the project will take place so in the drafting part as you are the engineer you are the design engineer the basic duty of the design engineer will be to have the single line drawing that means concept design single line drawing is nothing but the concept design then after the single line drawing the next step will be of dld that is nothing but double line drawing that will be performed by the draftman so if you are dealing with the single line drawing before that you need to have you need to know the parameters which are required for the single line drawing so as the in, as the design engineer you should know what are the parameters consisting for the designing purpose like example you need to have the knowledge for the like the methods which are used in duct designing the first one will have the velocity regain method and equal friction method we have two designing methods for duct designing okay while duct designing we should know the parameters i mean the physical parameters which are used for designing purpose that is nothing but cfm roughness noise etc so in the drafting part we talk about the things which we have talked in the designing section that means what you i mean in designing we talk about what to draw using standard parameters and in drafting we talk about how to draw using the cad so sld single line drawing is nothing but the your concept drawing and dld is nothing but the double line drawing that means the fair drawing which will be done by the draftman so as a design engineer it's it will be your duty so in the sld part the drawing will not show all the details but in the dld part the dld drawing will show the details sld will be the only concept drawing your concept drawing should be very much perfect for example if you have a drawing suppose if you have a plan so you are being a design engineer you have proposed a design so when it when it comes to the approval point of view so it should satisfy all the requirements for example your design should not have much wastage of material okay you need to consider the costing also likewise you need to think out of the box then only your design will get the approval so then only your design will get approved or selected when you compare designing with the drafting so as you are the design engineer you will be having much knowledge when compared to the draftman so any situation arose at the site so you will be the person who will be taking care the situation so the draftman will not have the authority to control that situation but as you are the engineer with much knowledge you are going to take care the situation now during the execution of hvac project we first look at the architectural layout that is nothing but civil plan now the civil plan will be divided into two parts architectural engineering team and the structural engineering team drawing so what are the duties of architectural engineer do so now suppose a client approach the company with respect to his plan to have the project so now the company what the company will do they will arrange the architectural architectural engineer for the for the project and structural engineering team for the project so the the things which comes under the architectural drawing is nothing but walls roofs floor windows doors false ceiling etc and the things which comes under the structural drawing is nothing but foundation walls columns beams slabs etc now the company main motto will be to satisfy the client requirement whatever may be the client requirement there they need to fulfill that requirement once the architectural engineers propose the architectural layout then they will 
have the meeting with the client then they discuss about the requirement requirement of false ceilings diffusers and all etc so the selection of a terminals will purely based on the false ceiling itself normally we have four types of false ceilings grid type of false ceiling that is nothing but we can also call it as a tile type of false ceiling step false ceiling and plain false ceiling the material used for the ceiling purpose will be like thermal gypsum wood etc now we'll quickly have a overview just a glance for the a terminals with the with respect to the images now this is one of the type of a terminal that is called as the diffuser you can see the image this is the four way diffuser normally we'll also get the two way diffuser three way diffuser and four way diffuser this is the four way diffuser this is nothing but one of the type of a terminal similarly we have the slot diffuser this will be placed vertically in the false ceiling so the selection of it as i said you the selection of a terminal will purely based on the false ceiling so this slot diffuser will be placed vertically in the plain false ceiling according to the architecture layout this is another diffuser that is called as the called as register this is nothing but a kind of diffuser only but an additional adjustable lever will be there so with this you can just on, turn it on and off so this is called as the register now this is the disc valve it will be placed in the gallery or the path towards the toilet etc so these were the a terminals types of a terminals likewise we'll be discussing the ducts and duct fittings in the next classes now coming back to the topic as a design engineer make sure that you should have your design perfectly satisfying all the parameters required for the designing purpose make sure that your design should not have the much wastage of material also you should not have much number of fittings you know if you have more number of fittings then you will be having fr more friction loss if you have more friction loss then it will directly affect the machine always remember the best design will get the approval so make sure that suppose if you are having a team of 5 members five design engineers so different people will have different thinking so design in such a way so that it should satisfy all the parameters parameters of the designing section then only your your design will get the approval so in the next session we are going to discuss how a project will execute in the hvac drafting part thank you